everyone, it's Emily. Today we're going to take a closer look at the commercialization announcement from Hydro-Quebec of a glass battery that was developed by John Goodenough, the Nobel Prize winner and inventor of the lithium-ion battery, and his colleague, Dr. Maria Helena Braga. Now, the glass that they're talking about here is just the electrolyte, not the entire battery. Let me back up. The most exciting trend in batteries is a solid state electrolyte with a pure lithium anode. Basically, you replace the flammable liquid electrolyte and are able to massively increase energy density. Now, for this to be possible, we need a solid electrolyte, but with properties similar enough to a liquid so that lithium ions can travel back and forth as the battery charges and discharges. So in this glass battery, the solid electrolyte is made out of sodium or lithium, oxygen and chlorine doped with barium. The glass electrolyte is an amorphous ceramics without a fixed crystal structure. But a battery innovation has to be a lot more than just a new electrolyte. It's the integration of the anode, cathode, and electrolyte to build a battery cell. So Hydro-Quebec isn't at the point of commercializing this innovation by manufacturing or selling anything. They're just trying to find the right material combinations to show a proof of concept, which could take years. Now, if they're successful, Hydro-Quebec will likely license the technology to manufacturers but only once they've demonstrated that a glass electrolyte would work as part of a superior battery cell. The bottom line here is that there's no silver or glass bullet for a future perfect battery, but a pure lithium anode in a solid state battery remains the next major innovation that can dramatically increase battery performance. Do you want more? You can check out my website at www.batterymaterials.energy or get my new podcast, The Minerals Manhattan Project. I'm Emily Hirsch, and that is it for your weekly recharge.